frightening new video showing a robbery crew in action targeting a liquor store on the north side. If it sounds familiar, it is. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is live from one of six businesses robbed last night on Chicago's north and northwest sides. And Megan, you've learned that same crew is being blamed for a week long crime spree. Right, Erica, right now CPD is officially connecting 12 commercial robberies, including one here at this liquor store last night involving young men wearing dark clothing, face masks, and gloves. Now, these bullet holes here are a reminder of the very close call one employee had. The surveillance video shows two men dressed in dark clothing entering Winnemac Food and Liquors in Lincoln Square at 924 last night. One of the men creates a makeshift doorstop on his way in and then orders two patrons to the ground. You can see them laying down on the aisle as the other man comes behind the counter with a gun and a backpack demanding the employee empty the cash register. The employee told me he did everything the man said then he held his arms up until the robber slipped back out the door. Andy called 911. Police say the same suspects hit up five more businesses over the span of a little over two hours. The robbery around 11 p.m. at this liquor store in the West Ridge neighborhood involved three men. One of the employees told me two of them were the same men pictured in the Lincoln Square video obtained by the CBS 2 investigators. One of them fired at the store clerk who then fired back. The owner of the store told us the clerk who shot back was his son, but fortunately he was not injured. Another liquor store, a 7-Eleven, and two Subway restaurants were also hit. Today, CPD put out an alert to residents in the 9th, 12th, 16th, 20th, 24th, and 25th districts, connecting these robberies to six others we've reported on over the last week, asking anyone with information to help track the offenders down to contact police. One of those robberies was at West Town's Irish Nobleman Pub on Saturday, shortly before 2 a.m. Frightened patrons were robbed and the cash register was cleared out. Then, three days later, surveillance cameras captured the crew storming into this food and liquor store, assaulting two customers and also demanding cash at gunpoint. An employee told us the shots were fired from outside the store as the offenders were running away. That employee who fired back is okay, understandably resting at home today. CPD is asking for any information in these cases. Live in Westridge, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.